uh, you know, it's kind of become tradition. Anytime we bring a guest onto the show or we have somebody fill in as a host for Jake, uh, we ask them about their history with Jake. So uh, that, that'll be where we start with you. Can you talk to us a little bit about your history with uh, the legendary Jake Roberts here? Sure. Well, it goes way back to my childhood, back in the Stone Age. Uh, I was sitting on a, a little couch in a, in a little uh, town, my hometown of Orangeville, Ontario, Canada. Um, and I was sitting next to little, two little other kids, uh, Edge and Christian. And we watched Jake come out of nowhere and DDT Ricky Steamboat on the concrete. And those two little nerds cried. And I just thought, no way, Jose. I want to be the guy giving the DDT, not the guy taking the DDT. And I was hooked ever since. <laughs> and uh and so you started to sympathize with the heels early on i always i like you know i like jake and i like piper and i like macho man i like mr perfect and uh, cowboy bob and and uh adrian adonis and all those guys i always liked the villains they just they just had so much more flavor to them and i just i just kind of bought them more they just seemed more plausible jake out of anybody you know over the road warriors over the wild samoans over any scary wrestler that was just plain out straight scary. Jake was the first guy that as in my little kid's mind, which is not much more uh, unlittle kiddish than it was, you know, 40 years ago. Uh, I just remember thinking, where does that guy go when he's done wrestling? Like I like, where does he go to an evil lair? Does he go to an underground base, a fortress of solitude? Like I, my brain was just bent on, uh, you know, asking Jake questions. And again, the road warriors are wild small ones. Okay. Small ones are in the jungles, you know, eating coconuts and tigers, you know, the, the road warriors, they're off driving Mack trucks with spikes on them. But Jake, I had no idea where he was. And it just freaked me out. Jake, uh, where were you after the show? I have no idea. <laughs> Fair <laughs> I enough. Thought for, I thought for sure you were going to say the strip club. Yeah. Curses. Uh, I'm not, I haven't got any answers yet. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> 